We are going to evaluate trig functions using applications. And wait, what? <laughs> using the calculator. And we're going to do applications also using the calculator. <laughs> you should take some notes. Let's go. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know, this is just background knowledge, you should already know that trig functions, their ratios are uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, ka, to, a. Uh. And then cosecant, secant, and cotangent are just reciprocal functions. So that means instead of O over H, it's H over O. Instead of A over H, it's H over A. And then instead of A over O, I mean O over A, it's A over O. So why is that important? When evaluating reciprocal trig functions, you will need to use sine, cosine, or tangent, then use the reciprocal function on your calculator. So sine, cosine, and tangent, there's functions for that in the calculator immediately. But there's not for sine, cosine, and tangent. You're going to have to use the reciprocal button after you find the sine, or after you find the cosine, or after you find the tangent. OK? So everybody's calculator is different. So the first thing when we're evaluating trig functions, you would either press cosine and put 48.2 in there, or you would press 48.2 and then press cosine. Either way, if your calculator is in the correct mode of degrees, you should get 0 0.6665. We like them to be to the fourth decimal place for whatever reason. Okay. Now for cotangent of 1.2, because there's not a degree symbol next to that 1.2, what's actually happening is it's actually asking you to find the cotangent of 1.2 radians. Your calculator by default is in degrees, and you have to find the setting to change it to radians. Do I wish I could do that for you today? Yes, I do, but I can't. Okay, so find the setting, Google it, whatever the name of your calculator is, Google the name of the calculator and type change to radians and I'm sure it'll pop up first thing in Google. So anyway, the cotangent of 1.2 is 0 0.3888. So what you would do here is you would find the tangent of 1.2 in radians and then you would find your reciprocal button and press that and then that would get you 0 0.3888. Okay, so now let's do the sine of 72.8 degrees. Again, in your calculator, you need to change it back to the degrees and press sine 72.8 or press 72.8 sine. 0 0.9553. Okay, so then for cosecant of 1.5, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and that's a problem that's in radians. So change your calculator to radians, find the sine of 1.5, and then press the reciprocal button on your calculator. And you should get 1.0729. Ta-da! I have this random picture of calculators because when I teach my kids, I teach them step by step which calculator that they're using. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the angle of elevation versus the angle of depression. So if you are in an apartment building, like this young lady right here, and you're looking up at something, that's going to be called the lingo angle of elevation. And your line of sight is what determines if you're looking up at something. This forms a right triangle, okay, like so, like that. From where you are, the level that you're at, the angle that you're looking up to, the, between where you're at and the the object that you're staring at okay so your the height of your eye so wherever your eye is is that bottom line the line of sight is your eye to the plane and then the distance between the plane and your eyesight is the other leg of the triangle okay or you could be looking at the car this is the angle of depression and it's because you're looking down right your line of sight versus where you are and then the distance between your line of sight and the car is what forms the right triangle. We will use triangles like this and trig functions to evaluate distances and angles. Okay, look how cute this picture is. I'm very proud of it. I just wanna, let's just take a moment to talk about how proud I am of this little picture that I drew with all these like little PowerPoint things. Okay, bye.
this applications a surveyor is 300 feet from a building at 22 at a 22 degree angle of elevation and the line of sight is five feet above the ground what is the height of the building so you have a building you have a surveyor homegirl you see her okay um what we're trying to figure out okay so she's looking at the top of the building right and it says that she's doing that at a 22 degree angle so i put the little 22 degree in there right the height of the building is what we're trying to find from the bottom up but what i'm figuring out with this triangle that we formed is a which is not the total height of the building it's just the line of her sight which is five feet above the ground she's 300 feet away from the building so what we're going to do is we are going to look at a and look at 300 and look at 22 degrees what side is a Opposite, hypotenuse, or adjacent? Opposite, good job. What side is 300? Opposite, hypotenuse, or adjacent? Adjacent, good job. So I have the opposite side and I have the adjacent side. What trig function uses the opposite and the adjacent side? So, no, that's opposite hypotenuse. Ka, that's adjacent and hypotenuse. Toa, opposite uh, over adjacent, so it's tangent. So we're gonna do the tangent of 22 degrees equals A over 300, opposite over adjacent, right? And um, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna cancel out the 300 to get A by itself. So multiply by 300, multiply by 300. 300 times tan of 22. In your calculator, you found tan of 22. And that was 0 0.4040 equals A. Multiply those two things, round to the nearest, uh, what are we doing, feet? Yeah, round to the nearest foot, 122, 121. Now, that was A. Remember, I need the height of the building. The height of the building is gonna be A plus five because the five feet from where her eyesight is, right? So that's 121 plus five. Final answer, height of the building, 126 feet. Okay, a building that is 21 meters tall casts a shadow of 25 meters long. What is the angle of elevation of the sun? So this picture was already drawn for you. That's so nice of them, because sometimes you have to draw the picture. Sometimes the picture is given to you, okay? What two sides do I have? I have a 21 and I have a 25. The 21 is what, opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? You say opposite, good job. Um, what is 25, opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Adjacent, good job. So I have opposite and adjacent. Is that so, ka, or toa? TOA. So tangent of theta equals 21 over 25. Now, if this is the first time that you're taking trig, what's interesting is I need to find theta. Theta is like x, right? It's a variable that I'm trying to figure out. So to cancel out what's next to it means I need to cancel out the tangent. How do I cancel out a tangent? I'm so glad you asked. You use an inverse tangent. If you do it on one side, do it on the other side, okay? There's a button on your calculator. Usually you have to press the second function of your calculator and right above the tan button, you'll see tan with a little inverse over it, okay? That's how you cancel out a tangent with an inverse tangent. It's like canceling out multiplication with division or canceling out um, addition with subtraction. You cancel out a tan with an inverse tan. So when I do that, I put 21 over 25 and then I press inverse tan and I will get 40 degrees. Rounded to the nearest degree. Okay. A flagpole is 60 feet tall. A wire 75 feet long is attached to the pole to anchor it down. Find the angle between the wire and the pole to the nearest degree. So we're finding an angle again, but we're deciding what trig function we're gonna use. So the wire is 75 feet. According to theta, what is 75? Is it the opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Hypotenuse, good job. And the 60, opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Adjacent. So what we're gonna do is we are going to decide what function that is. So I need a trig function that has the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Is that so, ka, or toa? So is opposite in, in, in hypotenuse, so no. Ka is adjacent in hypotenuse, so yes. Cosine of theta equals 60 over 75. Remember, to cancel out a trig function, I need to do the inverse trig function. So cosine negative one, cosine negative one. In your calculator, that's, this is pure calculator work, baby. Pure calculator work. 
theta equals 37 degrees. Okay, given the measurements below, find the distance across the lake. So let's say you're standing 630 feet from that point where the right angle is and the triangle goes all the way up to the other edge of the lake, we wanna find the distance across the lake. So I have a 40 degree angle and then I have A, which is the opposite side, and 630, which is the adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent is a tangent. So tangent of 40 degrees equals A over 630. This is too easy. This is just like example number one or something like that. So multiply by 630 on both sides, find the tangent of 40, which is 0 0.831. Multiply those two together, I'm going to get 529 yards. Okay. D again, let's look at the artwork. Let's appreciate the artwork. It's so good. Okay. Last but not least, a plane rises from takeoff. A plane rises from takeoff and rises at an angle of 10 degrees with a horizontal runway. At 500 feet off the ground, find the distance from the point of takeoff. So let's draw a picture, five degrees. This is where the point is. This is our little plane, okay? It rises off the ground and that is 500 feet. I want to find the distance from the point of takeoff, so from the push pin to the plane. So looking at the five degree angle, 500 is what? Opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Opposite, good. C is what side? Opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Hypotenuse. Good job. So now what we're going to do is opposite and hypotenuse is what trig function? So, ka or toa? Did you say so? You would be correct. So the sine of 5 degrees equals opposite 500 over C. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by C, multiply by C so that I can get C on level because I don't want it down there at the bottom, right? And then when I multiply by C on both sides, I need to make sure that I find the sine of five degrees. Make sure your calculator's in degrees, 0 0.0872. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do with that is I'm gonna get C by itself by dividing by 0 0.0872. And when I do that, I get 57, 37 feet. Ta-da! And that's how you do applications on the calculator and word problems for trig right triangles in a nutshell. Deep breath. You did good. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Go back through the video. See if you can do them on your own without my help. Tell your mom and sister, aunties, brother about this channel. And have a wonderful day.